Whew. All right. Well, this is technically the first ride. I rode around my neighborhood a little bit yesterday, actually. Um, not without a seat, without a front brake, basically. What I thought was going to be hard was adapting the front brake because they're drums and I had to re-get, like, get drum cables. But it actually ended up just being super easy. Uh, cables on there pretty good. And I haven't started it yet this morning. I just finished, finished uh, mounting the seat completely. I've got custom front mount now. Uh, what else? The throttle on this is kind of fucky. I, I've ordered a new throttle already just because this cable's already fucked, but hopefully we won't have an issue. I don't have the kill switch hooked up right now because it didn't work last time. So to turn it off, I'm going to have to just turn the pet cock off and let the gas burn out, which takes probably like 10 to 20 seconds. It's really not that bad. <laughs> Definitely need gloves because it's so fucking cold. It's like 30 degrees right now. 30, 32, something like that. Yeah, I'm fucking nervous too. I've adjusted the brakes and they've got like no stop full stop and the tires are shit so they don't grip very well now i haven't started it yet today so we'll see how this goes turn the pet cock on probably gonna take a couple of kicks since it is a cold start ah you tried little bitch there we go let her warm up a little bit It does sound a tad bit like a lawnmower at full open like that. And I might try to take another length out of the chain. This thing will wheelie. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it will wheelie, motherfucker. That is so fucking cool. Hold on, it's on. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. She's dead now. First ride out does wheelies. I can't believe she wheelies. She's torque as fuck too. Now it says 91. It's got some 89 in there, so I'll do some 93. Mix it up a little bit. 89 and 93, that's like a mixture to make 91, right? Tell me how wrong I am. This thing didn't need much gas at all. Look at that, she's already full. How much did that take? Or 1.1 gallons. I think this is a two gallon tank, so. Well, fuck it, let's ride around a little bit. I mean, yeah, this thing isn't insured or have a license. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That sucks. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a loose chain. Alright, let's fucking kill this thing. Raggedy piece of shit. That's what happens when you wheelie your motherfucking old ass bike. If it comes off, it'll go back on. Unless it's like uber fucked like this. In which case, it just might not. Catastrophic failure. This chain is now pretty chewed up. I was like, man, this fucker ain't going nowhere. Right, let's take that one off. Ah, oh, fucking soaked with fucking sweat and grease. Let's hope. I need this bitch running and riding again without any sort of major issues. No more wheelies. <laughs> I have one of those. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright. Let's try this again. Try to get home. Now we're limited by mechanical chains and possibly a sprocket. She rides nice though. I'll give her that. Fuck! That's bad. 
I can feel it clanking and shit. Oh, and now that's really good. Fucking, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. Time to, t time to walk it on home, you know? <laughs> oh, fuck me, right? I wonder if I can ride it, like, down this hill. <laughs> Fucking changes busted on me, dude. Catastrophic failure. Oh, fuck, that's a long way to walk from here. Do, 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 do. Actually, I feel like this is a bad side of the road to be walking on. I'll cut back over here in a second. Just leave the fucking chain like, nah, I'm good. Until I hit that uphill, that's gonna suck. But realistically, how far is the motorcycle dealership from here? Incredibly far. <laughs> you know, if I were to get to the top of that hill, the motorcycle dealership's technically on the other side. It's a pretty decent downhill. I'm able to catch some speed. I just fucking walk my shit the whole way home. I guess it's not really a catastrophic failure. But that's what I'm gonna name the video anyway. Cause fucking clickbait, yo. Oh, come on. I've definitely pushed it farther than that. Fuck you. Fuck you, bike. Let's, uh, let's talk about what happened. So, sprocket up front was a 40, or sprocket up front was a 420. The rear sprocket is a 428. So what I had to do was get a 428 front sprocket. Thankfully, a local shop had it and uh, just kind of gave it to me, which is fucking sweet. So that was nice of them. Vibrations caused by the chain now. It needs to be tightened up a little bit. She's wide open, dude. Hashtag no kill switch. I think it's the chain that's causing it to vibrate like that. Hello. What the fuck? The Sportsters used to have it switched? It's fucking crazy. Well, let's see if I can get this little thing started. Well, like I said. Later. Come on! 
man, this thing's fucking weird. I'm hoping that the vibrations are only caused by the loose chain. Because I can fix that. I can fix that nice, you know?